Hi, I'm Lucy Hawkins. Um, I was in the jazz group and I was in the subgroup D2. Um, I work most closely with a guy called Nick Vernon, who was um, in, from England. I attended two hangouts. One was on the 17th of April and the other one was on the 27th of April. Um, and we had four as a group all together. I never saw all four of us at the same time. Um, from my understanding, yeah, nobody really did because we weren't particularly good at kind of contacting each other and getting in touch and talking to each other. Um, with the project, I think we'd try and find a bit more direction. Um, our group wasn't particularly organised, um, especially in the first couple of ones, which is the one I attended. We'd kind of meet together and would say that we're going to like record, go out, record stuff, see what music means to us, record that and then get back together with our ideas. Um, what we tended to do is we all went away and had really generic ideas. Um, we videoed that and we came back and so we never really had anything that pushed us to produce anything really interesting. And yeah, we never really did produce much that was that interesting or that kind of cutting edge and kind of the thought process. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely make sure that we kind of settle on a concept that was going to kind of drive what we were creating because what we did is yeah we pretty much just went out and filmed wherever we, we could and then just kind of entered together which wasn't really a particularly good way of doing it um and it's not that collaborative either because we didn't really discuss much we just went off did our own thing and then met up later um so yeah I'd definitely make sure that we where to hang out more often, um, maybe make better use of the Google Docs because it's true that everybody's not going to be able to meet up on the Hangouts at the same time, like there's always someone missing, um, but people would check the Google document a lot more regularly and maybe fill out um, stuff as they did it, it would have been a whole lot more effective um, and yeah it definitely, definitely would have been better. Um, in terms of what I did, I was pretty happy with our end result, like me and Nick kind of decided in the end that we were going to go with a really textured approach just because of how the music was, um, it was very much a layered kind of composition, it was quite scratchy, it was actually all in reverse, so it made sense to us to maybe do something that wasn't quite so kind of just the footage, it had to have some kind of texture or some kind of um, digitally edited, edited thing that was going to kind of bring a different element to it because that's really what the music had to it. So me and Nick, Nick definitely did that. Um, the other members of our group didn't particularly. Um, as I said, yeah, we were terrible at contacting each other, so that was kind of our own, our own fault kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with how I did. My process was quite interesting. I tried heaps and heaps and heaps of different things. A lot of them, like, I wanted to combine um, maybe some of my animation and then just regular kind of footage and nice kind of filming. Um, I found a lot of the stuff that I animated really didn't work with what I was doing and so I had a lot of stuff that was left over and that never really saw the light of day but that's kind of how it works with everything. Um, so what I ended up doing is to create a kind of texture, I ended up painting it um, and they also painted a number of kind of letters and stuff and it always spells out kind of interesting things um, and yeah it did, it did, it was a response that was kind of personal to me. I felt that it it worked quite nicely. Um, the texture definitely helped to build up, building up the texture definitely helped the whole like composition as a whole. Um, and if I was to do it again, yeah, I'd do it pretty similarly. I might go back and maybe change some of the editing. That probably wasn't the strongest, but I had a lot. I didn't quite appreciate how quite how difficult overlaying images are because if you overlay different tones and stuff, you end up with a very grey image. Um, so it was definitely a really good learning process. And as was the whole collaboration thing, like I found I learned heaps about how to collaborate with people and kind of group dynamics. It gave me heaps of ideas for kind of, if I was to do it again, sure, I didn't get it right and we didn't get it right as a group initially. Um, but I think if we were to go back now and redo it, we'd definitely be able to come up with something a lot better. We'd be able to work as a group a lot better. And it would just, in general, be, yeah, a much better, much better piece of work. Um, but yeah, that's that's what a group collaboration really is about. Um, I did, I did feel that the process was was really actually quite helpful. Um, it did give me a really good understanding of how, when working in a group, you got to decide a lot earlier on ideas and stuff because 
everybody's going to work at different paces and there's going to be someone who leaves it to the last minute and there's going to be somebody who does it really early and the person who does it early is the person who dictates what everybody else is going to do because you obviously have to have a cohesive piece of work. Um, so yeah, it was a really interesting kind of learning experience. And I was really happy that we did it. Um, yeah, so pretty pretty happy with it. Um, in terms of the whole like D jazz group thing, I'm not sure who was in charge of editing it. Like we didn't organize it again very well. Um, like lots of groups said they had certain certain time slots, and they just did their time slot. Um, our group had just said. Like, we were going to work it out as we went, and I'm not really sure that how that went, because when I looked at our final, like, whole D jazz submission, it was, um, some people's footage were missing, mine included, um, and yeah, I was under the understanding that someone in my group was going to do it for me, because that's what they said, so I was slightly confused as to how that worked, um, but yeah, it definitely is what it is. I definitely learned heaps from it, um, I think it was a really positive learning experience. Sure, I wasn't that happy with the outcome, um, but I definitely learned a lot.